For lovers of the Netflix sensation Stranger Things, the end is tragically approaching as the fifth and final season has been revealed. And in a recent interview with Millie Bobby Brown, he mentions the possibility of writing one final episode of Stranger Things. She also wants to produce a musical episode a la It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, preferably the series finale. Stay tuned to find out if this could possibly be in the cards for the series, along with other Stranger Things Season 5 updates. First up, in recent Stranger Things news, Millie Bobby Brown has suggested that Season 5 should end with a musical number. Millie Bobby Brown has a strong desire to flip the upside down completely upside down. The Stranger Things actress who plays Eleven on Netflix's hit show claimed that she has huge ideas for the season finale and wants to have some serious creative control. I would adore being the director. It would be more melodious if I could, said Millie. She continued, trust me, I can do the finale to Stranger Things and it would be great, Millie explained. I think it should be like It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Did you ever see the musical episode? It needs to end like that, a musical episode. The cast of Always Sunny staged a rock opera in the 2008 episode The Nightman Cometh, which was based on songs by Charlie Kelly. Now, even though Millie was only four years old when the episode first debuted, it has grown to be a cherished part of the show's history and her own. Millie also addressed reports that she would participate in a definite Stranger Things spin-off while the final season of Stranger Things looms in the distance, either a musical episode or not. She stated, I'd love to see another 10-year-old with a bald head get that chance. I would help her navigate it. Speaking of a spin-off, the creators of Stranger Things, Matt and Ross Duffer, have hinted that if there would be one, it probably would be centered on a well-known character, which raises the question of what it might actually be about. On the topic of Stranger Things, let's take a look at everything we know about Season 5. Firstly, when will Season 5 of Stranger Things be released? Well, we assume quite a while from now. For starters, it will be some time before principal photography starts on the last episode of the enormously successful Netflix series. Sadly, a release date for Season 5 has yet to be discovered. The Stranger Things writer's Twitter account confirmed that screenplay development got underway in early August, although pre-production only recently began. The grid stage of plot creation started a few weeks after the creative team of the program began figuring out how important storylines will fit in the overall narrative of Season 5. Meanwhile, David Harbour, who plays Jim Hopper, revealed that filming will start in 2023. Therefore, if there are no problems during development, Stranger Things 5 might air in 2024. So what about the cast? Who is returning, and will there be any new faces? It's quite doubtful that any of the core characters will part ways before Stranger Things comes to an end, so Season 5 should see them all back together. That implies that Sadie Sink, if she manages to awaken from her coma, will play Max Mayfield once more. Finn Wolfhard will return as Mike Wheeler, and Millie Bobby Brown will return as Eleven. Now, it has been rumored that some big character or characters might perish this season. Max, played by Sadie Sink, is most likely to pass away in Season 5. Max is in a medically induced coma at Hawkins Hospital as a result of her close call with Vecna in the Season 4 finale. Max was nowhere to be found when Eleven searched the void for her. Thus, it is unknown whether Max will awaken. Sink acknowledged that she and the viewers are equally in the dark regarding Max's destiny in a statement made following the Season 4 finale. Max will most likely still make an appearance in the last season, but it is unclear in what capacity. Season 5 of Stranger Things will probably include additional auxiliary characters. It's unknown how much of an impact Karen Wheeler, played by Cara Buono, played by Joe Crest, Lieutenant Colonel Jack Sullivan, played by Sherman Augustus, Vicky, played by Amy Beth McNulty, and Susie, played by Gabriella Pizzolo, will have. If Season 5 is also set in Russia, Dmitry Antonov, played by Tom Vlasiha, and Yuri Ismailov, played by Nikola Duriko, might also return. The final episode of Season 4 left the fates of several well-known characters unresolved. Paul Reiser's character, Dr. Sam Owens, was left bound to a pipe in the underground Nina project, and Jamie Campbell Bower's character, Vecna, had vanished after being seriously hurt by Nancy, Steve, and Robin, although we would anticipate both to return because they are so crucial. We are still awaiting Netflix's official announcement. Jamie Campbell Bower would not confirm whether he will make a comeback. Sadly, we do know that Joe Quinn's Eddie Munson won't be coming back. Quinn is unlikely to make a comeback because he was killed by the Demo Bats of the Upside Down in Episode 9 of Season 4. Adamant that Eddie's adventure was coming to an end, executive producer Sean Levy told The Hollywood Reporter that it was very unlikely that Eddie would return in some other form. Not anticipate adding any new characters in Season 5 of Stranger Things either. According to the Duffer Brothers, they only add new characters to the franchise if they will be integral to the story. Additionally, the Duffers believe it is unlikely that any new characters will be introduced because the fifth season is planned to concentrate mostly on the core cast. Next up, do we know about the storyline yet? The plot of Stranger Things Season 5 has yet to be well known. The Duffer brothers have teased what to expect, though. In a speech during the Stranger Things Season 4 Volume 2 Unlocked episode, Matt Duffer predicted that this season would be unique. According to how Season 4 ended, there are some stories that Stranger Things Season 5 needs to wrap up in order to provide a satisfying finale to the series. To begin with, it is anticipated that our heroes will unite and make an effort to thwart Vecna and the Upside Down permanently. The show's main characters were all back in Hawkins by the time Season 4's credits rolled, even though they'll probably split off into smaller groups to successfully cover as much ground as possible. 
so they'll be effectively working together. That appears possible based on the Duffer Brothers' statements on the Happy Sad Confused podcast. The brothers and sisters have strongly hinted that Stranger Things Season 5 would return to the show's origins and reunite its heroes for a showdown with Vecna and the Mind Flayer. According to Matt Duffer, we want to return to a lot of the things we did in Season 1, and a lot of the original groupings and pairings that we had in Season 1. Now that there's some really big questions that people desperately hope will be answered, the first being, will Will come out in the final season? The actor who plays Will in Stranger Things, Noah Schnapp, recently discussed how the show handles the character's sexuality, saying how it's up to the audience's judgment of whether Will is actually gay or just developing more slowly than his buddies. He gives Mike heartfelt advice on his relationship with Eleven in a painful sequence in the second half of season four, but soon after, he silently breaks down in tears, suggesting that he might feel something different for his best buddy. Is Eleven going to continue being chased in season five? In season four, Lieutenant Colonel Jack Sullivan, a villain who returned frequently, believed that Eleven was responsible for the murders in Hawkins. Sullivan continued to be dedicated to finding Eleven and permanently putting an end to her. Despite Owens' accusations against her, it's likely that Eleven will continue to bear the weight of the responsibility for the disastrous events that occurred in the season 4 finale. It's uncertain what will happen to Owens after episode 8, and whether he'll be able to persuade the Colonel again is a major unknown. Thus, it's more than likely that Sullivan will play a significant antagonistic role in season 5's opening episodes. Another big question mark, will Nancy and Steve finally end up back together? The possibility of a Nancy and Steve romance was hinted at in season 4, according to fans. Despite Jonathan's return and their relationship stability, they keep certain details from one another. These particulars may seem insignificant in the view of the end of the world potentially happening, but it's likely that in season 5, the couple may engage in a contentious dispute that gives the go-ahead for Steve and Nancy to reconcile and potentially even get back together. And finally, will any of the key characters die in the final season? The Stranger Things showrunners chose to stick with their earlier strategy of introducing a cute, endearing new character to kill them off, because many important characters were expected to pass away in Season 4. Eddie Munson was the victim in this instance, but because Season 5 is the last one and anything may happen, the stakes have changed. Most crucially, the show has so many characters that each plotline drags on for ages, and in the latter two seasons, important characters like Will and Jonathan become obscured. A final season deserves a major emotional punch, and killing off a few important characters will do both while making room for those who deserve more time to grow. And there you have it, everything you need to know about Millie Bobby Brown who plays Eleven on the iconic Netflix series Stranger Things, and why she believes that there should be a musical included in the fifth season. Now, make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Do you think that would ever happen? Are you excited for the final season to drop? Let us know, and as always, thanks for watching.